it's Kim Newsome, and you're tuned in to Kimology. And I have da 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 da. She's all the way from Kansas City, Missouri. Ba da 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 ba da 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 da. Am I elbow? She's a singer. No, I was really wow. Okay, so introduction song is over. I was trying to bring you in. Like, really? No, keep bringing me in. Keep bringing me no, in. No, because you weren't supposed to change it and be like, no, booze. Like, you were supposed to be like, this is supposed to, it is. It was this. And then it was a real moment. It's over. It's my friend Lee yeah. Adams. Yeah. And she's wonderful. She's a singer here in Kansas City. And she's a good, good friend of mine. You guys have seen her on Facebook <laughs> in some of my videos. Black Women Tonight. We just like being black. And yeah, Lee, and she's married. It's really hard to say like Lee Adams. This is what happens when your friends get married. It's like Lee get Adams. Yep, yep. I did it for a long time. My mother did it for a long time. Well, you're living the married life. Meanwhile, I'm living vicariously through Whitley and Dwayne on a different world. That's fair, you get cool glasses. Go ahead. I <laughs> So, because we're black and we're women. Yes, we are. Something got in my eye. Oh, God. This is why. Oh, my God. So, because we're black and we're women. <laughs> this is why. We have hair care needs. And sometimes. Just for hair. me. No can number relax the cream. What? I don't know what they said. I want style. Body and shine. I look on to me. Oh, my. Hair so soft, silky, and free. I want something just for me. Just for me. I had the cassette tape while I was getting a perm. It took out my hair, but I was jamming <laughs> at the same time. It was like, when they was putting it on, it was like, I'm going to look the bomb tomorrow. <laughs> Girl. It's ball. A few <laughs> Slick. Mm. Then I had to go natural again. Gone. That's yeah. a whole nother. Anyway. Yeah. Then you joined my club. I love your hair. Oh, thank you. I want to cut mine, but I'm, I'm going to regret it like the next day. And now everyone, well, for years now, people are joining the natural hair movement. I, it was opposite for me. Any trace of BBs was like, hey, okay. <laughs> let's get those let's kings get together. So I was trained. Yeah. No. Are you laughing? No, I'm just remembering okay. the the feeling of the hot comb. Oh, on the back of my, my aunt neck. dropped oh. the hot comb on my thigh, oh. and <laughs> when carelessness gets real dangerous, and then <laughs> if, don't listen, don't complain, black women, you'd be like, ah, shut up, it's shut like, up, okay. you are right, but That's you dropped it on my. Worst things have happened, you, little girl. Can you be careful black if you weren't moving? And I you, wouldn't have dropped it. It's like all I did was and scratch my nose. You. I wouldn't have singed you if you hadn't have been moving. That's on you. It's disrespectful. Yeah. My mother admitted when she when she burned me, when she got me, she she admitted it. She said, Oh, I'm sorry. Like she was genuinely like, yeah. No, my mom was like, Shut up. And I'm like, but you all right, that's fine. No, no, she felt bad. It was nice. It was nice. Oh, being a black woman. Being black a black girl. Yes. Black women tonight. Hold still. <laughs> Uh, that's basically black women be still and know that i am god yeah or just be still so i can get that kitchen <laughs> shut up i enjoy my kitchen now i tried to lay my edges and they were like girl no we don't want to comply <laughs> we ain't trying to be straight we're trying to be hey hey your edges are jazzy <laughs> so, so because we're black women yes we are all day tonight day. in the morning in the evening during lunch hour in the midnight hour I as hit. well thank you don't you do that to me no oh. because i'll give them i'll give it to you oh, right now oh, you better watch it you hey better watch them uh-huh yeah sorry so what are we doing tonight as black women as black women we're gonna talk about being women that are black and so we're just gonna touch on many different things i feel like we as black women you know from the beginning of time we've dealt with all kinds of challenges yes all kinds of just 
yes good and bad and so i just want to kind of take a little journey i'm going to ask you a few questions lee has no idea what i'm going to ask her no i don't this was not <laughs> no i don't you don't have to laugh this is called bills and breasts by the way this is where we just have really great conversation That's the bomb. and we have bills and breasts but we yes, have we more bills and breasts because well, it's just two of them yeah <laughs> Would you consider yourself a feminist? Um, yes, yes. A feminist in the sense of, I believe in the equal treatment of women in this society, uh, and then put an asterisk by that, mm -hmm. of all women right. in this society. Okay. So yes, I definitely take the word feminist and include everybody in it. Gotcha. Yeah. Because I asked that because, what is that man's name? I love him, he's so cute. He is the host of The Daily Show. Noah, Noah, Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah, I love him. But he had um, a special guest on the show. I can't rem remember her name, but she was the voice on Beyonce's Flawless. Oh yes, yes, don't let me get messed up her name. She has a but long name and she's gorgeous. <clears throat> she's the bomb, she's really the best. Right, and she just came out with a book about black feminism and all of that and i i heard her make a comment saying that she feels like chivalry is a sign of weakness and oh. basically saying that um if a man opens up the door for you it's like basically representing the fact that you can't like you you're helpless like we need your help we need you to open up the door for us but i do if it's heavy i'm dead i'm sorry go ahead i'm dead no, and I was just like, well, wait a minute, I don't really agree with that. But he was, she was like, well, as long as he's opening up the door for everybody and not with the mindset of, oh, let me do it because she's a woman. Like, what do you think about that? Here's my theory on chivalry. Okay. When dudes do the whole, I don't feel like I need to be opening doors for no woman. My feeling is as long as, A, we are paid at 70% of what men are paid, mm -hmm. um, as long as that's a fact, because mm -hmm. it's a fact. Right. And as long as we feel the need to wake up in the morning and scrub every inch of us and shave every bit of us and put on makeup and mm -hmm. be cute and get our hair done and mm -hmm. spend money on dresses that and spanks, as long as there are spanks. I've never worn honey, them before. As long as spanks exist, you need to open up a door. Really? As long as we put forth the effort it takes to be a pretty woman. Yeah, okay. you need to be open up, open up doors until the until we're truly all the way there. You you you'll be all right. And also, why not? It's just nice. Okay. So it's you don't nice. necessarily agree with that statement. No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. Okay. Not at all. I think that for all the things that women do in this society, the least that a man could do is chivalry. Yeah, I'm a bit traditional too. Like, and it's not a thing of me being helpless. It's just how I was raised. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, hey, I can open my own door. Yeah, you example. know, I can mow my own lawn. I can change. Well, I can't change my oil, but I can change my tire. I can work on it. Yeah. <laughs> you can't change yeah. my tire. No, I can change. The tire. Oh, you can't. Okay, yeah. I can't. I can't change my oil. I'm yeah, not I don't know yet. how. To, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. But okay, I just wanted to bring that to your attention because I was like. Hmm, I don't know, but she's still great. I still, you know, oh, yeah, agree I rock with, with her. Yeah, I rock with her. Can't remember her how to pronounce the name. Chunga and that's what I didn't want to do. Ruining names. I'm sorry. Do you feel like there is still a glass ceiling for us to break? Yeah. Do you feel like it's it's getting better as far as you know equality, equal pay, how we're treated in the workplace by? not just white people or any other race, but even our own people. I think that because it's 2018 and we're still wondering whether or not we're going to be able to get a job if we straighten our hair, don't straighten our hair. If yeah. we have a little bit too much boob showing, not having it. Did we wear the right heels? Maybe I shouldn't have worn heels today. Maybe yeah. I should have, should I have gone stockings? Like yeah. the fact that we're still considering wearing stockings, Holy Ghost, to a job interview yeah. because it's considered modest right and it's 2018 absolutely that lets us know that yeah we definitely have issues and then on top of that being a black woman mm -hmm. the 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 cross between 
being a woman and all that comes with that and then on top of that am i too hood today so having to toe the line <laughs> well yeah and you know what my experience has been really just you know it's been interesting um i've had moments where people want to come up to me usually white women and they're like oh my god i'm like why why can you just look at it and no one touch touches it? your hair it's like oh it just looks so soft oh can i no beat it girl you really can't and the whole angry black woman thing like you it's like how or when should i speak on certain things without coming off like because yeah. you know we have this whole stereotype like oh my god she's oh she's too much she's too angry when we're just be simply careful. expressing <sighs> huh? be watch her careful <laughs> hey tom <laughs> she'll lose it <laughs> and then the whole thing like where it's like hey what's up and i'm like hi like they try to use like that okay girl like they do this little neck roll and i'm just looking like yeah that definitely happens for me <laughs> can you just not can you just not? That so, definitely happens for me. Yeah, that's happened a lot for me. But and it's hard to articulate. Just because I'm black uh -huh. does not mean that you need to talk in your interpretation of my color. Absolutely. Exactly. Because it's wrong. Because your interpretation of it just is dumb. It's wrong. It doesn't sound great. And we're not here. We don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. And it's hard to explain that and to people without it sounding like... I'm insulting them, but at the same time, you have this insult coming. Don't let something happen in the world, in our society, and it's on the news, like Donald Trump being president. My God, he's still president? I can't. I can't. I, just, I won't. I don't know. I refuse to. But just major, you know, things that happen in the news, and then, you know, in the workplace, people want to talk about it, and it's about race. That is always awkward for me, because sometimes they say things, and it's like, okay. Yeah. All right, that was kind of ignorant. Can you not? And it's like, how many times are we going to have to teach, you know, certain <laughs> races, you know, what is appropriate and what's not appropriate? Because, I mean, sometimes we're like, oh, well, it's a teachable moment for them. Like, how long do we have to do that for? Since 1619. Okay. We've then, been teaching y'all that, that we're human. There's that. It hasn't worked. And I think that for 400 years, I think that it's fair to say we're tired of being sweet. I'm pretty sure we're, it hasn't worked as well as it could have. Could we go even beyond like the workplace? Have you seen that video on YouTube of people were protesting for the Black Lives Matter and this white lady <laughs> comes over to a black lady, tries to tear away her sign and, and caught, she stole on her soul. Hands. Caught hands. Caught hands. And the police officer who was white, who was like, all right, see, no, okay. Uh, no, I don't even, no, I can't. Look, I know. But she I was know. like, it I hurt. didn't even do anything. I know. And she, they, the police like, I know, sweetie, it hurt. Yeah. I know that hurt. Because you were wrong. Hurt. You so. were wrong, and, but they, you were wrong. Like, I was like, really? She's like, I didn't do anything. I'm like, but you abruptly went up to this woman. They were minding their own black business. Yeah. And here you go, just... And not only was it wrong for invading that black woman's space, mm -hmm. it was also wrong for ignoring why she was there. The fact that she was there protesting the death of a fellow black person mm -hmm. in her town, mm -hmm. the fact that she was there in pain, mm -hmm. truly in pain, yeah. like feelings were happening, lives are at stake, and the fact that you took it upon yourself to not only be rude, and interrupt and be in my and in my jam and in my space right. and try to put your hands on girl on not only did you do that you ignored the humanity of that woman exactly. to say that whatever she's doing yeah it's probably because she's hurting inside yeah and i think that that's something that the society kind of forgets that we do we hurt yes don't and mess with us we're not our ancestors they were strong but you will catch one so just yep. don't our ancestors gave us the fortitude <laughs> to where please don't don't catch me on a bad day don't catch me on a bad because day because you'll get these hands in all jesus name all of them we're gonna talk about the portrayal of black women in the media oh yeah so body image booty booty butt cheeks booty booty, booty butt booty. cheeks i found you miss new hey hey get it together and bring it back to yes. that was a jam 
Can you just... Okay. I still sing that now. Like, when I'm feeling good about me. <laughs> like, alone. When I want to celebrate me. That seems like a song you should sing with people, not by yourself. Like, in the mirror, like, booty, 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 rocking everywhere. Yes. You do that by yourself? No, it's a booty, 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 rocking everywhere. I love saying it like that. A lot of people of other races are really trying to, of course, imitate our bodies. You know, even though back in the day, us having big boobs and especially our curves was like, oh my God, no. And so people are trying to imitate us. How do you feel about that? Just with the whole mm. booty injections, the, the flat tummy teas that we drink. Does that work? Y'all gotta stop selling them flat tummy teas. All that is is a diuretic. You're gonna end up. Is it really? You're gonna make a mess of your britches so at work one day. <laughs> like that? Like. <clears throat> Slavery, our bodies were able to be sold and bought at whim. They were able to be used as a commodity. Right. And now it's 2018 and we're doing the exact same thing in a different way. Hmm. So now your black body, my black body, isn't good enough to be placed on a you know vogue magazine or a sports illustrated cover mm -hmm. or anything like that but if you put it on a face that used to be white suddenly we're okay yeah. like the fact that my black features are not good enough for me but they are good enough for a you know kylie jenner doesn't make any sense because it's dead wrong it's not only wrong, it's insulting. Again, it's insulting that for years we were left in the dust for so many reasons of, oh, well, y'all, you dress nasty. Yeah. Look at those booties. Oh, my goodness, so curvy. That's inappropriate. That's not modest. Right. You know, cover up, cover up, cover up. But, but now okay. you're literally stealing our body parts. Like, you're literally stealing our body parts. Yeah. Like, when you really think about it and when you go into a plastic surgeon and you say, I want this nose and it's one of our noses. Yeah. right. You should probably think about that. You're right. stealing some of the body snatchers. I, I totally agree. Even with our hair. Just everything oh, that we the do. Hair. They tried to, when they said Kim K came up with cornrows. Are you kidding me? How? No. Y'all know that's not true. No. That's not true. Like, so, I just... There's documented evidence. There are so many! Okay. It's kind of numbing. And at the same time, it's like, whatever. It's like, we have to... And that's the issue that we've always had to just face. It's like, something happens and we have to find some way to cope. Some right. way to just be like, alright, that's stupid. Right. But let me stay sane. Let me not let that affect me yeah. as a person. And so, it's dumb. I think that it's in our bloodstream that... Our parents had to deal with it, our grandparents had to deal with it, and so on and so forth, mm -hmm. all the way back to the beginning of this country. We Absolutely. were never allowed to feel the insult because feeling an insult creates a reaction, mm -hmm. and a reaction is taboo mm -hmm. in this country. Yeah. To the point where just saying something against someone who is clearly offensive right saying something can be labeled as aggressive as far as black women and our body image amongst our community i feel like we're more accepting to different body types oh yeah i feel like the thin framed is in the you know just it's not all about being thick it's like you can be thin framed you're still beautiful any shape or size and i feel like we're more accepting of each other yeah in our own community look at bet yes i mean BET. Do it, is that still i is it relevant i no bet I here's a note for since you 106th and park here's a note for you bet yes call some black people mm -hmm. and ask them what they want to see yeah as opposed to keep on asking the white people that now sit around that table you should probably ask black people what they want to see yeah and then give them some money so that they can do it mm -hmm. and uh you might get people to watch it again yeah because right now it's just irrelevant it's so irrelevant and it used to be like the bee's knees it was the best thing since sliced cornbread and now they so. keep playing the same movies over and over baby how boy. many times are y'all gonna play baby boy <laughs> It wasn't <laughs> even a good I like the movie. Oh, here we go. 
So, no. No, Lee, okay. no. <laughs> okay. I liked it. Okay. And I know my black card is getting revoked as we speak. I'm hungry. But I don't do, black, I don't do baby boy. I really don't. What is being pushed? What representation do we have other than the Cosby show that is showing something that is not baby boy? Baby boy, I think, is a perpetual push of the fact that black men are childish and black women are the ones running the show but we're the ones that are trying to still depend on this childish man and but it was just representing that it wasn't condoning it it was just giving us something to think about right but i think that we have a lot of things to think about in that same vein like how many how many times do we need to be reminded that sometimes men are childish and sometimes women depend on men at the wrong times. And I mean, really, because really how many relationships have been built off of that same, in real life, how many relationships have been built off of that idea that, you know, I mean, I'm trying to make it out here in this world. And, you know, well, he's just trying to get on his feet oh my God, and all that. And letting, how many women have let Ride they or dies. Right, how many I can't do dies? that. Now, okay. How many I, ride or dies? You ain't gonna have a kid on me, right? Ooh. And I'm gonna stay with Woo. you. What did Yvette get out of the deal? A baby and, and, a, and a man with a dirty penis and some rims on her car. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but there are some more shows that do depict us in a more positive light. Yeah, you, know, you have Issa Rae. You have more black writers as far as you know production is concerned with movies with tv sitcoms like i feel i don't know i i like that there's like a big emergence of us just really I'm other than that. tyler perry i'm sorry yeah black women versus black women mm. the positives and the negatives mm. what have been your negative experiences amongst being you know around fellow black women honestly the light skin dark skin thing was not as bad for me as the you talk like a white girl thing oh my god girl you talk like a white girl confused me much more oh my god than the light skin thing wow i used to get that a lot growing up yeah like real bad like real bad and it hurt me and when you try to break down what exactly all that means it's a lot to it absolutely it's if you so articulate yourself it. And you're able to form a complete sentence, and you're not like, "Hey, so what I'm saying is, when we gonna go to? If I don't sound like that, then I'm, I'm basically a white girl, right? So and basically, you're, basically, you're saying that you want to sound dumb, like I'm supposed to sound dumb. Ah, but then there's that. Okay. Why is it that the black way of pronouncing Ooh. the English language is looked at as dumb? Only black people criminalize only black people criminalize our own our own dialect but you know what i i embrace well, I'll you take know, it back. not just black people yeah black. well i embrace the way that we talk the way that we all communicate because of course we have our own language yeah but it's like if i'm away from that and i'm in a more professional setting or if i'm just not in that space of just using slang why is that an issue the issue of being alienating mm -hmm. to our counterparts is scary you know because mm -hmm. if you are you know because i mean we look back the ones that were trying to make something of themselves in a way that was traditionally looked at as white right you know going to college instead of being a sharecropper going to school and becoming a lawyer instead of being a bus driver sure. both things are good mm -hmm. both things work both things are hard right but when we look at it because we didn't see a lot of other black people doing it mm -hmm. i think first of all it's a level of fear yeah that alienation you you're scared that your cousin is going to be better than you and is going to leave you behind Ooh, we, and so you, yeah. you snatch at her just because oh, you know and so that was my experience, you know, when I was growing up having the whole white girl talk thing. It confused me because I didn't know a lot of white people, first of all. Yeah. To be like, well, how do I talk like people? I don't know. Well, I would say my experience is, I don't know. I've always been like the, the upbeat, funny, energetic woman. I, I can give you a recent scenario. Um... You know me, I'm not fake. 
Like I just try to be myself everywhere that I go. I try to be very jovial. Is that ju jovial? Jovial, not juvial, it's jovial. I was at work one time and um, this other black lady, you know, I like to look nice when I go to work, okay? I like to, you know, put on makeup. I like to just, you know, I just like to put myself together. Everybody doesn't do that, that's fine. I don't care, I'm, it's, I don't care. I'm not judging you. So this one woman was like, I mean, your brows, like, they just a little bit too thick. Mind you, she doesn't wear makeup. She has a big forehead. She's just not, I'm sorry. She just, she doesn't dress up going to work and any of that. And so I say that because people kind of take your kindness for weakness. People feel like, oh, she's nice and she's sweet. So I can go up to her and say whatever I want. And they kind of take your presence, your, just the fact that people get along with you. Like I have people that come up to me, I don't really know their name, but they're like, oh, hey, how you doing? Oh my God, I love your dress. Or, oh, I love the way you dress. And other black women hear it and then it's like, you have to say something about me to make yourself feel better. I've gotten that a lot. And that's so frustrating because it's like, why can't we just congratulate each other? Why can't you, if you wanna know how to do brows, hey sis, how do you do it? Can you tell me how? No. Can you <laughs> No, I can't. I mean, and, you know, it's just like, it, we just always have to find a way to tear each other right. down. And that just really just, oh my God. Duh. Yeah. The, I think that that competitive spirit is there. I think it's mostly because we're afraid. And we're afraid that if I don't, if somebody compliments you and say, oh, you're just not and be like, mm -hmm. Girl, don't be walking around thinking that you got that you all of that. Oh my God, girl, oh, I that. am. And so they shut laugh. up. You know, it's like let's laugh about it. Ha ha, girl, you ain't all that. Don't let it go to your head. But why not? Why can't we let it go to our head? I think it's just that natural competition that takes place that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And I think that amongst Black women, especially because it's not a lot of us in our workplaces, it's not a lot of us in the social scenes right. it's not a lot of us in places outside of black spaces mm -hmm. i think that we have a lot of time to basically want to be the the main one yeah and i think that we take a lot of time doing that as opposed to we can all be there's enough that one shine for all of there's us there's enough shine thing she doesn't work there anymore so oh bleep. bump her and her big forehead yep that Aaliyah swoop from 2003 um what are some <laughs> age ain't nothing but a number but we can't sing that because r kelly he wrote that oh no we can't sing that no nope. no thank you no thank you can we can we no. as black women stop supporting r kelly can we as black I women believe stopping. other no there's can we as black women believe other black women that we're yeah, hurting that, that we're hurt out of here off. positive oh, experience as a black good. woman um positive spin as a black woman amongst other black women yes ma'am oh wow um just the hair care tips alone oh yeah okay <laughs> just the come up just camaraderie yeah. being able to express things like that mm -hmm. being able to say i'm tired of not feeling tired anymore mm -hmm. and knowing that you know exactly what i'm talking about absolutely but I think that the camaraderie amongst black women, because black women are absolutely 110% magical. Like, like unstoppable. Magical? You are unstoppably magical, girl. I think you you're you magical turn all too. the way up and then you turn on the sparkle. Like, you turn it up and you then you sparkle. It? I mean it all the way. Do you mean it? You're the best. It's my friend. This is my girlfriend. My girlfriend. To be friends with a black woman is to be friends with the greatest and strongest and most efficient, most powerful, most get it done creature on this earth. Absolutely. I just love when other black women can get in one space and compliment each other. I was singing one time and these group of black women were like jamming. Young black women, all around the same age, just Hey, and you know, we got to turn everything into like a, a family reunion. So the electric slide came out and I was like, oh, shoot. So I was in the mic. I'm like, okay, y'all. I see y'all. They're like, hey, girl. Okay, we see you. I'm like, okay, queen. Like, it's just so like. It's I a real thing. It's so great. And
and when I was done, they were like, oh my God, you're so amazing. I'm like, you guys are amazing. What do you mean? And they're like, oh my God, what's your Instagram? I'm like, oh my God, what's yours? And it's just, it's just a beautiful moment. And I love it. I love when we can just, oh, I love your hair. No, girl, where'd you get this purse? Like, we are not hating on each other. If we see something that we like, it's like, yeah. hey, how can I get that? Can you help? It's no shade. Yeah, I feel like when we compliment each other, mm -hmm. it's more than just a compliment. It's a revolution. If it, I feel so empowered. I feel like 10 times better. Absolutely. When another black woman just likes how I look that day. Yeah. The role of the black man, relationally and non-relationally, do you feel like we are protected by them? Do you feel like they have a responsibility to protect us or to stand up, support us, all that? The answer is yes. Okay, why? Because we do it for them all day and every day. Wow. For as long as black women are out there marching for y'all's brown tails, for as long as y'all keep on cheating and try to disguise it as some level of, you know, royal oat sowing oh, or, God. you know, it's against, monogamy is against a man's nature. For as long as we have to put up with y'all. Hey, 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 red shirt, hey, red shirt. No, hey, shut up. Shirt. Don't you yell at me. Hey, I'll red cut shirt. you. No, no. As long as we keep getting called a bitch in the streets. Right. For simply ignoring you yelling at us because we turned you down oh. for as long as all that exists that's a read you just read the whole world for as long as that exists yeah the least you could do mm -hmm. is call yourself some level of an attempt at a protector and i think malcolm x made the quote um black women are the least protected people yeah like period yeah and so, yeah, I agree. I and this like, is not a hate on black no, men. No, 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 not a, this is a, This is to enlighten you. This, this is, is a call to action. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely agree that our black men have an obligation, a responsibility to uplift us because we do it all day, every day, yeah. without question. Really, when we say uplift us or when, when we say protect us, it's to stop hurting us. That's all we're saying oh, so don't think that it's kind of, wow. some kind of a you know man i need to be out here protecting my woman uh -uh. yeah i just need you to stop hurting us yeah protect us from you mm -hmm. wow i think that's all folks so love peace and hair yeah, i can't say that because somebody already has that uh, no we can't do love peace hair. No. oh no no okay i'm kim newsom speak your truth and we're done that was kind of whack, no. Okay, bye. Everybody have a great week. That's a good one. Okay, bye. <laughs> That's a good one.